Hey, what's up guys? Alex here back with another tutorial and this one's going to be on creating a simple transition where uh, multiple parts of the video clip start to slide in from both left and right direction. So let's head on into Sony Vegas Pro 11 and by the way, uh, only Sony Vegas Pro 8, 9, and 10 and 11 users can all only use this tutorial so if you have any Sony Vegas Movie Studio Platinum you can't use this tutorial because we're going to be using the masking tool which isn't included in that version so let's head on into Sony Vegas and you want to have your two clips ready on the timeline so you're going to have the original clip and then you're going to have the second clip which you're going to be using for the transition so you want to create right click on the timeline and create a new video track and then what you want to do next is uh, go to your second video clip and you just want to go ahead and cut about three to two seconds of into the video clip and we're going to be using this clip for the transition so what you want to do is place it over on the second video track place it over the first video clip and then you want to position it so that uh, it's about one second over the um, original video clip. And then next, what you want to do is go into your event pan crop option, click it open, and select mask. Now, we're going to be doing a little math for this tutorial because we're going to position all these masking points just to make the transition a little neat and so it doesn't go uh, off screen or anything like that. So make a point and you should have a position option open and once you made that point anywhere on the screen it's going to tell where the position is on a type of grid. So if you go to X and you place it and type in a value so about 20 it's going to over go over to this side. Now we what we want to do is place it place it on this high right hand corner. So for the X we're just gonna type in zero, and for Y we're gonna raise the value up just to test uh, how this graph works. So if I go to 400, it's gonna go down. So if you raise the value of Y, it's gonna go down. If you decrease the value of Y for 100, it's gonna go up. So if you put it at 0, 0, the point is going to be on the right hand corner of, actually the left hand corner of your video. Now make sure that while you're doing this you don't click anywhere else on the screen. So now we're going to make our second point and you just want to uh, be a little accurate so you don't have to mess with the value a little later on. So just click on the right hand corner and you see the values come up. If your video clip is 1280 by 720, then that's the resolution of how wide the video clip is. So the X should be 1280 by Y, which is zero, for the second point. And now we're going to uh, go to your calculator, and if you go to type in the value 720, so for the resolution of the video, it's 720 by or actually 1280 by 720 uh, what it means that the amount of pixels for the width or for how wide it is is 1280 and for the height of the video it's 720 and then we're going to be creating three masks uh, dividing each section of the video clip into three sections so you want to get 720 divided by 3 and it should give you two, 240 pixels so again, for the third point, you're going to click anywhere, and you want to make sure the Y value is 240, and it lies on exactly on 1280. And lastly, make another point, and since it's on the left side, the value should be 0, and for the Y, it should be 240. 
then connect the uh, mask and now you have this little strip of the second video clip lying on top of the original video clip and you don't need to mess with the feather type or the percent or anything since it's the mask is exactly dividing one section of the video clip so after you have that done what you want to do next is create two new video tracks and we're gonna duplicate this video clip that we just masked right here so click on the video clip hold control and click and hold and drag it up onto the other video track next we're gonna go to the event pan crop option and we're going to actually instead of remasking the second portion we're just gonna get the original point and just move it down so while getting the uh, normal edit tool selected which is this little cursor right here we're going to select the top left point so actually before you do that you want to right click on the top left point and deselect the anchor and then we're going we're just going to move it down so before you do that make sure enable snapping is on so that it'll snap onto a grid like uh, plane and we're just going to move to about 480, 480 uh, pixels down because if you add 240 which is one section of the height uh, 240 multiply it by that by 2 is going to be uh, it's going to add up to 480 so for the y value you can type in 480 and you want to do the same thing for the top right clip and type in 480 and so next we masked out the second section of the video clip so it should be something like this and one last time we're just going to duplicate the second video clip we just masked and we're going to go to event pan crop option again and this time we're just going to get the top point again and uh, multiply that by 720 on the y value so 240 by multiply uh, by that by 3 it should be 720 which is all the way down onto the bottom left point and again do the same thing for the top right point so again you masked out each section so that they fit perfectly uh, onto into one video clip so for the excess video clip the second part of the video clip we masked uh, you want to make sure it's connected so that when you play it it doesn't black out or anything like that and now for the transition so we're going to be fade at the fade offsets to all three of those video clips and we're going to hover our cursor or place it over the top left hand corner of the video clips we masked, masked and we're, this little icon should pop up click it and drag it forward and again the effect should be about 20 seconds long actually 20 uh, frames long as you can tell by this little time uh, bar right here and you want to do the same for the top video clips as well and we're gonna go to our video effects and actually in transitions tab and we're gonna go to our sliding transitions and we want to have the top top and bottom uh, portions sliding in from opposite directions so this one controls the top portion so you want to select slide in left and right and for the bottom portion you want to select slide right left 
But the next for the middle one, you can do the same thing. Apply either transition. Uh, just for the uh, example I showed you guys earlier, you want to select a different sliding transition. So possibly the bottom up or the top down. I'm just going to select the top down, which I use in the example. And if you preview the effects, something like that but if you want to vary the time between the transition from this video clip to the other one what you can do is offset the time just by dragging the mask or each indiv individual video clip in so when it slides in the top and bottom slides in the middle one is going to come in later so this is the offset it time and there you go that's how you do the sliding transition so i hope you guys liked this tutorial if you did please give the video a thumbs up and if you have any more problems with this tutorial uh, ask me in the comments i'll get back to you within a few hours or a couple of days and if you have any more tutorial requests just send me a message or comments on this video and i'll see you guys next time also, on Mondays, I'm going to be uploading my quick tips for Sony Vegas Pro 11, which is a series for covering uh, the basic shortcuts and me giving you useful tips in editing your videos in Sony Vegas Pro 11. So this series, I'm going to upload every Monday. And if you could comment on it and uh, give it a thumbs up, I would appreciate it. And also I'm going to be uploading my full length regular tutorials on Fridays, so that's two uploads per week. Uh, again, I would appreciate it if you comment on it and give it a like. So I'll see you guys next time.